Hey guys, how are you? Uh, we're on Stradbroke Island uh, for the for the weekend, and uh, we've brought our JK cross track over, and uh, we just wanted to give you guys a bit of a, a rundown and just let you know what we think um, of our new uh, JK. So, why do we have a JK cross track? Um, well, a couple of months ago, we decided we were going to either buy a camper trailer or a, a caravan, and we were sort of tossing up between the two, and. You know, um, I've had a few caravans over the years and, you know, I haven't owned one for, for quite a while and, you know, we've been travelling overseas and we wanted to, um, you know, just stick around here in Australia because there's so many great places to see and, and things to do. You know, like, look at this place here on Stradbroke Island. It's just absolutely awesome, you know, it's, it's just been a great weekend. But anyway, enough of that. So we decided we're going to buy a camper trailer or a caravan and then we made the decision to go with a camper trailer. We thought, oh yeah, this is going to be awesome, you know, we, we were excited and we were excited a lot. We, yeah. we had no two ways about it. It was exciting and, you know, we were, we were keen to get out there and explore. Um, and then we did a three week trip over to Fraser Island and we were setting up and packing up a lot and it was sold to us and I sort of believe myself as well from watching all the videos of people doing it, that it was going to be a fast and easy set up and pack up. But for us, it wasn't. It Too was long. taking a while, you know. It was taking up to an hour, then we got it down to about 45 minutes, down to about half hour, and that sort of was not with all the gear out, you know, putting all your mats down and all your chairs and everything like that. So I got I got a little bit frustrated and annoyed and I'm like, nah, I'm over it. I don't want this camper trailer. We're going to get rid of it. So lucky for us, it was, you know, the right time to sell it, you know, because people are just absolutely going wild over you know, buying uh, camper trailers and caravans and things like that. So anyway, we sold the camper trailer and now we have bought a Jayco Crosstrack 13 footer. So yeah. what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a bit of a review and just tell you what I think of it. It's second hand, we bought it from a guy up north and um, we brought it back down here to Brisbane. And this is our first trip out on it this weekend. So- um, First impressions. Yeah, first impressions, you know. So anyway, I'll start at the front with the, of the van. It had one of those, uh, the poly blocks on it. I think that comes standard on these um, Jayco cross tracks from, from Jayco. That's the first thing I did was rip that thing off because it's really difficult to, to line up and to uh, hook onto the back of your car. So we're going for the Cruise Master DO35. They're really simple. They've just got a click button on the top. Really easy to guide up. And they're actually really safe for towing and things like that. So, you know, if your van flips over, the car's gonna stay upright. Um, yeah, they're a good, 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 good bit of gear and I'd recommend it, most definitely to have it on the trailer. Um, we've got two nine kilo gas bottles. So that's gonna run our, um, we've got a barbecue here that runs off that. Obviously we've got a gas stove in the kitchen, which I'll show you as well. And it also fires up the hot water system. So anyway, we'll move around to this other side. We've got two jerry can holders there as well. You can probably see that. Of, uh, extra extra water um, we've got a storage boot on here so this is the opposite side to the fridge so it's just got a bit of junk in there I just keep some tools my compressor hoses just got my drill I've got, I bring my blower back when you go to the beach that's one of the best things you can have is the whole blower back just the battery operated uh, there's a few bits and bobs up there uh, nothing too serious so yeah there's, there's I've found here in, in this in the uh, cross track there's um there's plenty of storage, so. Um, and you can pop this one down here, you kneel down. So this is actually underneath the bed of the caravan. Um, as you can see up there in the back right corner, that's where we've got the, the Jayco um, J35 battery management system. Um, me personally, I think it's a bit clunky. We've had a few issues with it <laughs> when we picked it up and bought it off the guy that we purchased it from. Uh, the solar and everything like that wasn't working, so. Um, lucky enough, uh, we, we got it in somewhere and they sort of sorted it all out for us. Um, you know, I'm still not 100% sold on it. I don't know how accurate it is. Um, over this weekend, we're in a bit of a shady spot and it's got a 160 watt solar panel that comes with it. It hasn't really been putting any charge into the battery. So I wouldn't solely myself rely on it to, uh, to get me out of trouble. Um, it's definitely not enough to, uh, to, keep your, to keep your battery all charged. Um, as you can see here, we've got another drawer with a handle on there. That's where the battery is actually stored. So there's a 95 amp hour battery. 
once again, being off grid, I don't think that really is enough battery power to, to run a fridge and run your lights at night time. Um, especially when you've got a solar panel that's not really efficient and sufficient, I suppose, in saying that to... And that is actually screwed down, it's not just a drawer. Yeah, there are two little screws there, that stops it from sliding out. So if you do need to access that, you, you do have to undo those screws to, to get it out. So anyway, and this is where you've got your mains power plugs in here. I've got a lead running, I've got a generator. Um, I've only just turned that on, I think last night I turned it on. Uh, because the battery management system was saying that it's not, you know, it was down to about 50%. But, you know, I'm also running a, a solar blanket. This is a 200 watt solar blanket. I don't know the quality of that. That should have been charging it. I had it connected directly to the battery with a, um, a solar monitor and it still wasn't putting the charge in the battery. So I don't know. I don't know whether that's not working. We're going to do some tests and, and work out to see whether that's actually putting out enough power so I've had to uh, as I said put the Jenny up and, and fire up now the battery's all charged so you know that's all working well um, in here you've got two fill points so it's got two uh, 80 litre water tanks I think so you can fill up tank one tank two um, which is there down underneath the trailer here so they're situated up the front there uh, two two water tanks they've got independent suspension I don't really know how good any of this sort of stuff is at the moment. You know, it's it's definitely no uh, Cruise Master XT suspension, which is the, um, the you know the duck's nuts, I suppose, of um, off-road suspension. Um, a couple of things I've had to do, you know, because you know this is just what I've come across. I've sort of gone over this whole van um, really quickly before we came away, and there are lots of gaps, you know, where Jayco have been really rough and not sealed things up. So I've gone around with Sikaflex because, you know, when you're coming out to the beach, you, you don't want sand and things getting into little nooks and crannies, and it's just gonna cause your dramas later on down the track. So I've gone through around all the wheel arches here. I've sealed all that up with silicon, um, Sikaflex, sorry. It was really rough in some of these, um, in some of these places in here. You can see it just builds up absolutely everywhere. So we'll have to give that a good wash uh, when we get home. Also, up along the back here, like you got a lot of penetrations. We just got to get down low, sorry guys. So you got a lot of penetrations, you know, through underneath the van here. And as you can see, like I, like look at the silicon work around some of these. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty rough. It's, it's not, you know, it's not great. So I, um, I, I pulled the, the seat off inside and I had a look at this hot water system here and I could see daylight. So if you're going down gravel roads or going you want to take it for a little bit of water, you've got to make sure you go underneath your van, even before you pick it up from Jayco, and just have a look at these sort of little things because it is, you know, it is a little bit how you're going. It's it's um, Especially if it's an off-road. Yeah, well, you know, you it's know, a semi-off-road semi van, so, you know, yeah. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm loving this, you know, Jayco at the moment. I love it. You know, I've had a great weekend and I just can't wait to get back out there. But they're just, a, you know, a few things that are not, yeah, a, not, yeah, not 100%, you know. And, and the same down underneath here, like you got a, a bit of um, checker plate, you know. They've got a gap between where it's finished and the end of the chassis on the, on the trailer, on, on the van itself. So, you know, I've gone and gap filled there. I've actually got some more checker plate at home. I'm going to screw all that on, pop rivet it all on, and bolt it all on, and then seal it all off. And then I know that it's going to be 100%, no sand and dirt and muck's going to get in there, you know, and cause dramas down the down the track. So it's a few March flies out here at the moment. Righty, so moving down to the back of the van. This is uh, the shower. That's where our solar panel. We can't pull that down at the moment. Sorry, it's just been attacked by March flies. So this this pretty much pulls down here down a little bit actually that's the solar panel that i was talking about um we couldn't get it to to um we couldn't get any input on the battery management system and i couldn't work it out but uh the guys out at um the carry ranch shop out of dipswich who do some uh, warranty work for jayco they sorted it out there was a wire that wasn't even connected so you know it was completely disconnected um i think it was up somewhere in the front of the van so um yeah so they've connected that up um as i said 
not really working all that well here in the shade. I wouldn't solely re rely on it. If I was going away for a week and I was going to go, yeah, I've got all this battery system, I'd be taking backup of a generator or hiring one if you don't have one or borrowing one off a mate because you'll probably find um, you might run out of battery. So. Um, and that's how you can also get your cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> I love my coffee, so that's why I've got a generator because I don't have an inverter yet. Um, that's a shower in there. It's just a little wall. It's just got a little flap on it. You unlock that. Um, and it works out of the... Um, it works out of this instantaneous hot water system. So that's gas. Which is this bad boy here. It's just situated in, underneath the, the seat. Uh, I'm actually a licensed gas fitter and I've picked up a fault with this one as well. Um, it's got a, a flue on here and that's what expels all your, all your fumes um, from the gas once it's burning and it's not sealed and that's actually if when that's running it's 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 releasing uh carbon monoxide fumes in underneath the um seat. in underneath the seat so yeah not real cool but but you're a gas fitter so you can fix it yeah i know yeah i know i can so that's you know another thing that we've got to sort of try and sort out um might even speak to the guys at jayco and you know they can fix that one up i reckon <laughs> more than happy to all right, we'll move around to the other side. This is where we live, out underneath the awning. The awning's really easy to put in and out, nice and simple. They've just got an open close, you roll it out. You've got this strap, that's what sort of rolls it in and out. Uh, hot tip is you probably should roll it in and out from the middle because when you use it on the corners, what you're actually doing sometimes is you're pulling your pop top and that's what sends it out of, out of alignment. So a lot of guys that have had pop tops, they'll probably know, oh, my roof's not square, it's sitting to one side. Half the time, just because you're always opening and closing your awning from this side. So um, there is a sequence. I don't know what that is yet. I'm still trying to work that out of you know opening and closing the, the, the roof to, to make sure it all stays aligned. But when you're doing your awning, put it in the middle, keep it central, um, and that you know should definitely help with um, not sending it out the roof out of the lining. Um, so yeah, we'll come back over to this side here. This is where the fridge is. There's a fridge slide. There's a couple of little, um, this little blue lever. That opens and closes the fridge. It gets to a certain point where it won't go any further. You've actually got to push that blue lever and that will push it in. And then once it's in, you've actually got to push it again and that will lock it. Um, so this comes out. There's actually a little, little table there. That's where we keep our web up. That can actually just comes off. That folds up. As I said, push your fridge in. Tags, it's right there. Stopped, push the blue lever. As all the way in. And push that there as well. Also, if you're gonna be doing a bit of off-roading, going down the beach, it's a good thing to get rid of these SIG lighters on your fridge. Always chop them off, put an Anderson plug on there, and you'll never have to worry about it. They won't vibrate off, it won't fall out. And some plugs, they're nice and solid, and it should stay on there. So, so we have to do that still. Yeah, obviously. I still got to do that. Yeah, yeah. There are a couple of things that I've got to do. I'll, uh, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, this is where Jess spends most of her time <laughs> cooking. I'm on the barbecue, <laughs> and Jess is in here doing a bit of cooking. She's a, she's a great cook, and she's the, the best person to have along on the trips with us at the moment. I think. So yeah, it's not too bad. You know, everyone's going. What do you do for storage? We found so far well there are bits and pieces you can buy from rv shops you know to stack your plates and cups and everything like that but you know we've just sort of thrown everything in we've got a couple of these uh cutlery holders from kmart i think we just put them in the cupboard um it's okay you know plenty of room for all of our food and condiments and sauces and whatever um this little thing up here this is actually a, a gas solenoid it's a safety device uh, you got to turn that on every time you want to use your gas cooktop and if you accidentally forget to turn it off and when you close this down this this little knob here will hit that button and turn it off so that's just a safety device in case you've left it on you don't want anything you know gas expelling in here and you know causing some sort of an accident so um, I, I keep it off because I reckon that's chewing up a bit of the battery power as well anything with a little light chews up your battery power you know it's you know, even on your um, 
on your phone charges, if you've got a little blue light or a green light, they, they absolutely chew the power up. Um, there is a 12 volt socket here. That's uh, running off the batteries. You've got two power points here. I've got the Jenny running, so I can plug my coffee machine in here. Uh, Jess has had the computer up before, so we're just sort of charging that up uh, while doing a bit of video editing. Um, there's also an external um, TV antenna point there. Uh, there's actually one on the other side as well. So you're at a caravan park and you got power. Uh, most of them have external uh, TV antennas where you can plug that into the van and then that'll obviously run around to the, to the rest of the van so you can use that here or inside. So, yeah. Um, I don't know whether we can't really see much here on this side. No, that's where the tanks are. They're at the front. As I said, two 80 litre tanks. They've just got a bit of sheet metal around them to protect them. Um, I've got to go through the whole van um, and have a look at all the penetration. So where all the pipes go through, I've got to go back and sick flex them all up. Um, we're going to be going on a few dirt roads. We're going to be going up to the beach. I don't want any dust and dirt getting in. Um, also, one other thing, we've got a, a filtered water tap. So that runs you can connect it up to the mains in the caravan park all that runs off the water tank as well um, there is just a little filter you sort of swap them over every six months um, pretty simple to do uh, another thing that i found this tap here it's got a really short spout as you can see it's really close to the edge of the sink you put your hands under there it splashes all under this timber it's just going to make a mess after a while so um, I'm definitely going to rip that out. Lucky for me, I'm a plumber as well as a gas fitter, so I can, <laughs> I've got the best of both worlds there. Going to rip that out, just put something with a little bit longer spout, something that can still swivel to the side, and it's just going to make things a little bit easier and a little bit less mess. When um, I'm doing the dishes. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> I've been doing the dishes all weekend, so come on. Um, yeah, there, there is, like, like, that's one thing I don't like about this. It's, this kitchen is recessed down, and there's, you know, if you're going to leave water sit on there, you know, over time, it's going to ruin it. You know, I know it's laminated, it is sealed and silicon around there, but, the, you know, this, after years go by, you know, if you're not looking after it, um, it's going to get into it. You know, it does have a rubber seal around here. I don't think this one's actually sealed in. So that's something else. I'm just going to pop that out. I'm going to put some silicon underneath there, just um, smooth it all off and make it look neat and tidy, just so no water can penetrate underneath. Because that is timber underneath that laminate. And when it does get wet over time, it will become, you know, damaged and ruined, so. And the stove is really good. It's good because it's down low, so if there's wind or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It is out of the wind, because we're, you know, we've had a northerly blow here at Stratty uh, yesterday and today, and it was sort of coming from the south a little bit the day before, and, you know, we haven't had a problem, so um, it's been really good. Also, you've got another little light there if you're out. You just click a little button on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's an LED strip light out underneath here in the awning. We haven't really had that one on. You know, I think it's been a full moon pretty much. So it's been pretty bright and you know, we've had the fire going as well. Um, inside we've got the door. So you've got security door, solid door. So you can open up, pull your handle up. That's going to pull away. And you've got yourself a screen door. We just keep that open. Now that allows a bit of breeze through, it's been quite nice at night time, so um, yeah, that's definitely really good over a camper trailer. You don't have to open these zips and zip, zip, zip all night long, you know, it's good. Much wider. Alright, so this is the inside. Um, there's actually a table that goes down here. We've, um, I've just taken that out, we don't need it, we're, we're sitting outside most of the time, so. Um, what I am going to do, I'm going to make up another sort of a half table with a piano hinge um, so it can actually sit on there and you've actually, because it's nice to have this little bit of room here to, you know, get changed and, and do whatever you want to do. Um, you know, and my son's been in here as well, you know, he's, he's been in here reading a book just sitting down at the couch. So, you know, um, I think when you're travelling and you're just doing overnighters and you don't want to set stuff outside, you know, just a nice little table, just enough for two people. You know, my, my son's an adult now, so he doesn't really come along. If he is, he's going to be sitting outside anyway, so he's not going to be invited in. <laughs> um, 12 volt pump is underneath here, so that will run off the batteries, and that's also for you know when you're when you're off grid um, to get your water out of your out of your tanks. 
Um, we did have a bit of a drama with that. I couldn't get hot water on thinking, what's going on here? You know, something was cutting in and out. The water was on, off, on, off. Anyway, I jig around a couple of wires here on the pump and I found that one of them was loose. I haven't 100% fixed it yet, so we'll have to do that when we when we get home on um, next week and sort that out. Um, the hot water unit's underneath there. As I said before, that fluid come away, so we've got to sort of sort that thing out as well. Um, you don't want carbon monoxide gases coming inside. It is well ventilated, but you know, we just don't have anybody in here while that's um, operating. There's still plenty of room for storage yeah. underneath there as well. Yeah, well that's right. Well, as I said, we've got that battery which is down. I might just open this up actually. As I said, we've got the battery, so you've got access to all underneath your bed as well from, from the inside. So as I said, I've got that battery in there. I'm actually going to move that battery because all the weight seems to be over here on this left-hand side, if you notice with the Jayco. Everything is on the left hand side. You've got your kitchen, you've got your fridge, you've got all these cupboards, all your storage is all weighted or all pushed over onto this side. So, you know, everyone always talks about when you're loading your van up that everything, you know, your weight should be distributed. And that's one thing I didn't really think much about, you know, um, with, with, with this van. Um, and yeah, so, what I've decided, I'm actually going to pull that battery out of there. I'm going to put it underneath here. There's still a bit of room. A little bit of room underneath here. We can, I'm going to put two lithium batteries. I'm going to put one there, one there. That gets a little bit of weight over this side. I'm going to put in a new Red Arc uh, 40 amp DC DC charger. And I'm going to get a Victron um, uh, solar uh, monitor as well to put in here as well. And then I'll just solely use that J35 just as a um, sort of pretty much a fuse block to run all the lights. Um, and then that way I know um, that I'm going to get enough solar input. I'll have two lithium batteries. I'll be able to run my, um, uh, put an inverter in and so that I know when I'm off grid. Um, I'm going to have plenty of power and I'm not going to run out. So, and what we'll do, we'll chuck up another, a, another solar panel. Get some decent solar panels from Red Arc or from um, somebody like um, what's that other? Well, I can't think of them at the moment. But anyway, a couple of good de decent solar panels. Not like any of the stuff that sort of comes sort of stock standard with it. So yeah. Um, anyway, I think I've gone a bit off track there. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you think one thing and then another thing. Um, plenty of storage. We're sort of just keeping all of our clothes in here. Like, there's ample room. You know, you got these two big cupboards up here. You know, we got towels. I don't even know what's in that cupboard over there. Nothing. Um, you've got a couple of switches down here. So you've got your battery. This is a, a little uh, gizmo for your hot water so you can actually control your temperature. Set at 50 degrees. That's just a, a standard these days for, for hot water. Um, you're not allowed to go over 50 degrees. So, um, yeah, you've got a battery. So when you're at home, switch that one off. Switch your pump off, switch your hot water system off. So um, that's for when you're in storage. You know, I actually keep that them two actually turned off if I'm not here in the daytime anyway, because that does it does save a bit of power. Um, another cupboard in here. We sort of just use that for a bit of storage for our um, pantry, pantry, and a few pots and pans. One annoying thing is this door. The hinges are on the wrong side. You know, you're out here cooking you like want to get in here so i'm going to rip these hinges off i'm going to flip the door yeah that handle is going to be down the bottom but you know i don't think that's really going to bother us too much i think it's just going to be 10 times easier to actually get into that cupboard from you know being able to open it this way so um and yeah there's plenty of storage around the top we've just got a few bits of junk you know we've got to keep our wine bottles and some socks up there um most we, important part the yeah, wine yeah the wine um we've got an air conditioner i actually haven't um my, my generator is big enough to run it, but we haven't even needed the aircon. You know, there's just the breeze has just been absolutely spot on, you know, since we've been here this weekend. It's been really cool. I actually had the doona on me at night time. Um, yeah, it's been unreal. So, you know, love the Jayco, but there are a few things <laughs> that need to be done. Um, you know, some of the workmanship with some of these things, it's just not, you know, where it should be. You know, it's a, it's a great van, but there are, you know the finer details of, of certain things and, and you know and another thing that i did see you know there is some 
got gal metal that they put along here and they attach these bodies to like they've, they've cut the ends of them and they haven't even bothered to you know get coal gull out to you know spray them on the ends of um of their cuts you know eventually if you're going down the beach those things are going to rust but you know i've spoken to one of my mates and he's a um spray painter we're just going to get that raptor stuff i don't know if anyone's heard of it we're going to coat all that all the raptor underneath all these places just prime that just covers them all up and protects them from all the elements so um, you know it's extra work if you're handy you can do these sort of things but you know i know it's a lot harder for, for people that aren't sort of that way inclined um, but there are plenty of people around that are sort of willing to help so yeah but overall That's it. i'm yeah i'm pretty happy with the with it you know we're you know we're going to sort of take it some places where a lot of people probably wouldn't want to take it but we're going to give it a go and we're just going to see what happens you know a lot of people don't bring sort of caravans over onto this um main beach well, Island. Seen one caravan no there, there hasn't been one caravan seen and you three know, trailers the track you know the track coming into these places you know they are pretty steep sand dunes and you know we've got the hilux there i've got a i've got a tune on the hilux um a lot of people don't like to do that to their new cars because they're worried about warranty and that i don't worry about that sort of stuff i just get it done and if something happens well i worry about it then um i recently just invested in a throttle controller um from those i drivers think it's called that is the best thing i've ever seen on my car like the response givenness the responsiveness when you um put your foot down is just it is unreal like when we were on Fraser and we had the camper trail, it was a bit laggy. And you know, this, this band's about the same weight when it's all sort of loaded up. It's, you know, around that 1.8 sort of ton mark. And coming up this sand dune, it's quite steep, you know. And I gave it some berries. We got in first go, I got some good footage. We're gonna put that up as well. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, sort of coming onto the beach, but yeah, coming back up here, it was, um, you know, we had to give it. The, the van was doing fishtails behind me. That's, you know, it was good. So I enjoyed it. And as I said, you know, we're going to get out to a, a few different places where um, probably, you know, some people wouldn't be game to sort of take their van, but, you know, we're not scared. We're just going to have a go and we're going to show you, you know, things can be done. And, you know, along the way, things might break, but we'll just deal with those sort of things as it comes. So, overall, pretty happy with the Jayco. Me too.